good morning, everyone. Today, what I'd like to do is show you how to do um, your assignment, and we're going to be creating an image bingo card. So let's get started. You know that you already have the 25 vocabulary words that you need for this assignment, or you should have them. If not, you can get those from my website. If you want to go to my website, it's michiganusj.weebly.com, um, and that is on your Google Classroom. Then you're going to need to go to uh, 3D Design 2 and go to Projects. And this is the assignment we're going to do right here, Assignment 2A. And we're going to create a bingo card with images. So it'll look something like this. Okay. To get started, you will need to create this document here, this uh, grid. And I've already done that. And you, you're welcome to use mine. I've had a couple students say that they could not access it. If you cannot access it and I can't get that fixed, um, then you can just create your own. It's really easy to do in, uh, in Google's uh, software. It, it just only takes a couple minutes to do. And basically, I have um, five across and five down, bingo at the top, my bingo sculpture there, and my name there. I know one that we need is base. So we need to find a picture of a sculpture base. So to do that, we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in Sculpture base, okay? And we'll go to images, and we'll find a good example. I'm not looking for these right here. I'm looking for the base of a sculpture. So this one right here is a pretty good one, but it's kind of hard to see. Um, any of these would do with a base on here. This is a good one right here. So to get this image, I want to copy this image, okay? Um, on your Chromebooks, it may be a little bit different. I can just drag the image over and drop it on my desktop and it'll copy it, but you may have to do something different with your Chromebook. Once you do that, you want to copy this image, and I'm going to copy it, and again, you might have to do it differently on your Chromebook, and come over here and paste it. It might be a little bit big, so just squeeze it down and fit it in those little squares, center it. Okay, oh, I want to make sure I see my whole, all my little lines, okay? So, and then down here, I can just put um, base. So I know I need an open sculpture. So let's do an open sculpture. I'm going to go back to Google Sculpture, and I'll put open. Remember, when you look for these pictures, um, you may not get one that's actually correct. Like, for example, some of these are not very open, and some are more open. Um, so find a good example, okay? So this is a good example of an open sculpture. I'm going to copy that. And again, you may have to do it differently on your Chromebook. I'm going to come over here and copy this. And then I'll just paste it randomly in a spot. And we will center it, make it as big as we can make it. And that looks good. And then we have open there. So we want to fill the entire board. If you don't have enough um, vocabulary, you can put a free space here. Or if you have to, um, you can repeat one of the terms or two of the terms. Okay, so the vocabulary you can repeat one or two, or you could repeat, but not the same image. So if you're going to repeat open, come back here and find another good example of open sculpture. Okay, don't get the same, same example. Okay. So find another good example of an open sculpture, and then you could repeat that once. So only for a couple of them, that would be fine. Once you're done with that, you've got it all done, and obviously I don't, but if, when you do, go to File and Print. Then um, you this it will be full, and you have all your words down here. You're going to go to Next. And then when you print it, I want you to change this to Save as PDF and Save it save and that is the assignment that you will turn in to google classroom to get your grade okay